The first guide we're going to look at is a guide on SinisterSwarm.com from 2012 by the user Divine. Now, yes, this is a very old guide, but it contains some very intelligent information on FPS improvement. The first thing we're going to look at from this guide is a little ways down about Autodesk and Scaleform improvements. This is how Terra handles the UI by Autodesk Scaleform. If you want to check it out and read about it, there is a link on this as well, and I will include the links to all of these in the description. You'll want to click on both of these two links here, Flash Player and Shockwave, and download both of these programs and get them installed and running. And it will help with the Autodesk Scaleform UI. Just as a warning when you download Shockwave, as I went and tested it myself, is it will ask you if you want to download the third-party program Norton Antivirus. They do have a small little checkbox, so you don't download that, and I suggest you don't download it, because I've always been told not to download third-party programs when downloading the main program, and I think it's a good rule to abide by. Now, in order to get this Scaleform UI uh, fix happening correctly, we're going to need to travel to a different guide. The other guide I showed you got you the updates, and so will this guide on the Terra Today forums as well, posted by Mysterious FPS. Along with downloading these two things, there is another thing you will have to do. In this, uh, in this thread, there is a link here, and you'll just simply open that link in a new tab after installing these two things. You can use these two links from this thread or the links from the other thread, whichever works for you. This page will usually take a while to load. For me, it usually takes forever. Especially the first time I ever opened it, it took quite a long time, but rest assured it will load up eventually. The first change we're going to do is you see this little 10 MB thing here. Yours will most likely be at 100 KB, and we don't want that. We want this to be at 10 MB, and then that's all you have to do for this page. And you can just simply, once you've set this to 10 MB, you can close this. You'll then have to scroll down to the next link, which is Manager 04, and here we'll have to do a little bit different. Now there are a few files he says to add in here in this description from the Korean uh, who originally had this done. You can see the files that they added, but this author suggests you add the teralauncher.exe as well as the EME version check. But I went ahead and added a few more. I added terra.exe, teralauncher, EME version check, and my teralauncher from my desktop. To do this, all you have to do is hit Edit Locations, Add Location, Browse Files, and find where you have your Terra folder. For me, it's C, Program Files 86, Terra, and here's where you'll find the Terra Launcher. So you'll want to add that one in there by clicking Open. The next thing you'll want to add is what I did, is I put the tl.exe, I went into the binaries, and I put terra.exe, and I also went back to where this launcher is and put emeversioncheck.exe, as well as putting the shortcut to the Terra launcher in there as well from my desktop. I'm not sure exactly if you have to have all of those, but I'm more of a, I'd rather have everything just in case I need it at any point. And I suggest you do the same just so you're not missing anything. And that's all you have to do for the scale form and UI. Both of these things, installing these two things from these links and these two links as well and changing those val values. And that should fix any UI lag problems you have. The next part of the guide on SinisterSwarm.com by user Divine is the NVIDIA control panel settings. Now for ATI users, I haven't found much for them. And the only thing I have found is that there are no fixes 
for an ATI user like there are with NVIDIA. And many things in this video are going to be for NVIDIA users only. If anyone knows of any ATI fixes, feel free to post them or let me know, but in my searching, I haven't found any. And since I have an NVIDIA card, this was really all I've been searching for. The first thing you'll want to do is open the NVIDIA control panel. This is done by right-clicking anywhere on your desktop and selecting the NVIDIA control panel. That will open a window for you like this. This might be closed in 3D settings. You'll just pop that open and go to set physx configuration. I was messing around with some settings before this video, but this won't happen to you. Don't want to apply those. In set physx configuration, it will give you options to select which physx processor you'll want to use. Since NVIDIA has physx built into it, you'll want to use that and only that. So it doesn't allow your integrated processor, if you have that, or any other processor to be used. You want your most powerful NVIDIA card powering this process. So you'll simply select that, hit apply so that changes, wait for that to load, and then you're done with that. And we don't have to come back to this window ever again. We're going to leave it there. The next thing you'll want to do is go into manage 3D settings, which is where I was earlier, checking some changes and some other things. You might be on global settings. If you are, you'll want to make sure you change this to your high performance NVIDIA processor. If it's selected on integrated graphics, that's bad and you don't want that. I don't have it on auto select because I want to force my computer to use the NVIDIA processor and nothing else. You'll then want to go to program settings and if this little drop down bar doesn't have Terra.exe, you'll want to add it manually. To do that, you'll click on the add, you'll go to browse, and you'll go to where your Terra.exe is located. To get here, for me, is C drive, program files 86, Terra, client, and it's not this one. You don't want TL.exe. You want binaries, then Terra.exe. This is the file you want, not TL.exe and not Terra Launcher. You want client, binaries, Terra.exe. And you would click open. But since I already have it, I'm going to just exit out of this window. So now you should have this here. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure high performance NVIDIA processor is selected. You don't want Terra using anything else. Now among these options here, the options I have are a little bit different because some of the changes we'll see later on are going to change things that you'll see in this guide. If you would like to use the options in this guide right now and test them for yourself, feel free to do exactly what it says here. Click apply and then go in game and check if there's any differences. But if you'd like to use the settings I have, I'm just going to quickly click down through my settings and you can pause the video and set them to exactly what I have as this is what's covered in the rest of the video for NVIDIA Inspect or for NVIDIA Control Panel. I'm sorry, we'll get to NVIDIA Inspector later. So make sure all your settings in NVIDIA Control Panel look exactly like this, as this will set us up for everything else later on in the video, and I won't have to come back to NVIDIA Control Panel settings later on. After you've changed all of these, hopefully having paused the video and made sure you had the correct ones, you'll want to click Apply. And that'll apply all of these changes we have to the game and to this Terra.exe. We can then go ahead and close the NVIDIA control panel because we'll no longer need that for this video. Also, don't worry about these settings for in-game at the moment. When we're completely done with all of these changes, I'll log into the game myself and show you exactly what my in-game uh, texture, render distances, and everything are to hopefully give you the best improvement possible.
The next part we're going to cover is a very controversial part, and if you're not familiar with the registry, then please skip this section. I'm not responsible for you messing up your registry because of a stupid guide you looked at online. If you don't know what the registry is, if you've never touched the registry before, don't touch it. Don't do this section. But for those of you who know registry values and know how to change them and are comfortable with changing your registry, here's how we do it to unlock network throttling. You'll hit the Windows key and R at the same time, type in reg edit and hit OK. You'll get this window asking you for the administrative rights, which I have, to open it up. You'll then want to find the computer, which I believe I might actually be in there, but you'll be in computer, of course, H key classes, local machine, software. You'll then find Microsoft. You'll then scroll down to find Windows NT. You'll go to current version multimedia system profile and here you'll see options that look like this double clicking on this network throttling index will bring up this window and you'll want to type in six F's for this value data and make sure hex decimal is selected and this and then hit OK this will lower your ping in most multiplayer games, as the author states, and makes it more stable and give less ping spikes. Whether this is true or not, I don't quite remember, because this is one of the early things I did to the game, and I don't remember the exact effects of it. Of course, after editing the registry, you'll have to restart your computer and thus refind this guide, but if this is something you're going to do, and again, I have to remind you, that don't do this if you don't know what the registry is or if you're not familiar with computers. I can't stress how much a registry error can mess up your computer. So don't do it if you're not familiar. I'm just showing you that it's available. And also, read this guide before you do this change. There's a lot of information in here that you can check, look at, read that's very helpful. And you'll want to read that and give that a look before doing that. And that's why I'm going to post that in the description.